Ayo! What is happening, fam? James Incognito here. Yes, uh, we are here with another mukbang. Sheesh! So check this out. Um, I haven't eaten Tom's or Tito's tacos in a few weeks. And uh, for today, we've been hit that Tom's tacos, baby. Yes. yes uh, so look, now I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you gonna be like, that ain't no taco. That's a hard shell taco with a bunch of cheese in it. Uh, yeah, we know that, G. Sheesh. So, um, that's one of my favorite hard shell tacos. Basically shredded beef, a little bit of lettuce on top of that, and then a little bit of cheese on top of that. Actually, I was for extra cheese. You know what I mean? So, um, then we got a burrito here. This burrito is, uh, definitely weighs... I don't know, a couple pounds. But uh, anyways, this has got uh, beef, bean, and cheese in it. And uh, pinto beans. The beef in it, it's in the red sauce. It's kind of like a shredded beef. It's fire. So I usually like for these guys to kind of cool down a little bit because when these are too hot, bro, it definitely going to burn your mouth. So as far as the sauces are concerned, and guac, a little red, a little guac, and then the uh, basically some jalapenos. You know what I mean? So, uh, let me play with the light here see what happens. I think that might be better. Yes, it. So, uh, again, let me show that cheese taco off. A lot of you guys will be like, cheese, cheese. Yeah, that's how we do it. You know what I mean? This is the gringo taco or whatever taco you guys want to call it. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, put some of that red salsa in there. All right, so the red salsa is definitely on the watery side, which I like. I don't mind it. I'll take it down. Then we're gonna put some of that good guac in there. Then give me some of that jalapeno. It's gonna get messy. I'm gonna put the burrito off to the side because uh, this taco is finna leak. You know what I mean? And when it leaks and gets that tortilla wet, it's not good. It's a regular old taco. Nothing special about it. Beef, lettuce, cheese. Yo, shout out to Dangle Wings. Dangle Wings, I know you mentioned that one. Um, man, I can't even think of that. The restaurant, right? I'll think of it in a second. All right, so let's talk about the taco. I think I need to put some lights on in here. Let's talk about the taco. So the uh, taco, a little dark in here. Dang it. All right, fam. So the taco is definitely, it's a, it's, 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 it's like a, ain't nothing special about this thing. You know, it's a hard shell, lots of cheese. Mm. Mm. All right, fam. So why is it everybody gets all fired up? Fired up. When I say fired up, when we eating these tacos right here, they be like, those ain't tacos. What are we gonna call them then? What do we call them? They look like tacos to me. Now, The only reason why I like Tom's tacos is because I like Tito's tacos and I grew up eating Tito's tacos, so Tito's tacos, old school staple. They're still around, but I think they've changed ownership once or twice and it's definitely changed a little bit. I think the food and the recipe is still same. same. But um, they don't jack those prices up, you know? So, and I feel like Tom's Taco, Tom's Taco stole the uh, recipe from Tito's. But who knows, bro? It is what it is. 
All I know is a burrito time. All right, so this burrito definitely gets messy. I will say Tom's Tacos chips are whack. They're probably day old, you know? So let's go ahead and dig into this burrito. Old school refried beans. Huge difference between like canned refried beans and real refried beans. If you don't know the difference, bro, you have to get your taste buds checked, G. All right, so the burritos definitely cool down just like I like it. I don't like the burrito too hot. These chips suck, but this is one of those big burritos where you have to scoop some of the meat out so it doesn't explode on you at some point. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's scoop a little bit of that live out of there. Easy. So the beef, this burrito is super simple too. I mean, beef and a red sauce, beans, flour tortilla, salsa. So a lot of you guys will be like, that's Taco Bell, taco, whatever. Hey, call it what you want to, G, but I know this is fire. Man, it is definitely a dense, heavy burrito. It's too gas. It's way too good. Tom's Tacos, Torrance, California. Go check them out. I will say though, the chip, so comparing Tom's Taco to Tito's Taco, Tito's Taco chips are way better. They're fresh all the time. Salsa and the guac, pretty much the same. So <clears throat> the chips at Tito's are better. Tom's chips are whack. The hard shell around the taco is different too. So Tom's hard shell taco, I like it better at Tito's, but Hey, you can't always get what you want. Mm. So, this meal definitely Mexican American, all right? So, Still gonna call it taco, I'm still gonna call it burrito, but. American taco, American burrito. Overall judgment on Tom's versus Tito's. I'm I'm definitely full, man. Well, I'm definitely full. Like full to the like where it's those meals where ooh you just want to go on the sofa and lay down and just you know. So all right, so the meal. Is definitely a heavy meal. Normally, um, I would have the burrito and two tacos, but recently or lately, I feel like I haven't been able to finish all that food, so I've been just kind of ordering the burrito and taco, which 
actually uh, fill me up just perfect. <clears throat> but if I had to, if I had to choose between Tito's and Tom's, bro, I would definitely mess with Tito's over Tom's. But hey, Tom's is a good substitute. It's a good, like I said, Mexican American taco, Mexican American burrito. Um, Tom's does have nachos and like uh, taquitos and a bunch of other stuff on the menu that Tito's doesn't have. But I don't care about that because I go to Tom's for the Tito's burrito and the Tito's taco. So their food at Tom's, the other food besides the taco and the burrito are pretty good. They sit, they essentially use the same like meat and stuff, you know. It's just a, a matter of whether you want like a chicken taco or a um, Kailua pork taco or a beef taco, which Tito's doesn't have. Oh, excuse me. So anyways, fam, I'm super full. I feel like I got one of those bricks in my stomach. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, mukbang. Uh, let me know on some restaurants where to go. I know a lot of you guys have already given me some ideas, which I definitely want to get to. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to let me know where you want to see me next and what you guys want me to see, uh, what you want me to eat. And if there are any challenges, you know what I mean? So uh, stay tuned for the uh, Twitch live. We'll be on in a couple hours. Actually, right now it's about six. Yeah, we'll be on in a couple hours. So if you're not already following me on Twitch, James underscore uh, incognito underscore official. You know what I'm saying? So um, see you guys soon. I'm stuffed. Yes, sir.